Okay, so as mentioned yesterday, this one is going to address the bad habits that the people in the entertainment industry have got. And I think it's about time that we address this. Um, yeah, th there is, um, there's a couple of things that I, w I think that we've got ourselves into the habits and um, we need to be talking about that really. Uh, if you'd like to go and check out yesterday's video, then as I say every time it seems, uh, go and check out the MBD Blogs playlist um, and uh, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook and be able to keep up to date with us and blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe and like the videos as well. I mean, you know, I'm doing all this. I still don't even get a like. Shame. Uh, okay, so bad habits that we've basically got in. Um, I think one of the things that we need to understand first off when we when we come to addressing this topic is the fact that people are always going to be watching you. Whether you work in the background in the entertainment industry or whether you are on the stage, you know, forefront, revving the crowd up, whatever your role is, you are being watched. And that's probably why you work in the entertainment industry. Now, you've heard probably quite a lot on uh, like things like the X Factor and American Idol and that sort of thing, where they've said about, you know, you're in bad habits. Well, you know, the, 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 there's bad habits that certainly singers and uh, performing acts like that will get into, um, which there is tons of bad habits there. But there is tons of bad habits that, you know, as mobile entertainers make. You know, one of them, like we have addressed in another video, we said that basically, you know, one of the bad habits can be that you set up in the wrong area. Um, you know, you leave your cables out or, you know, you're not looking the part, that sort of thing. That is quite a bad habit that some DJs fall into. And I think it basically comes down to a time when DJs almost get bored with doing their job, even though they still enjoy it but they might be the inner side of them might be a little bit bored with doing that role and it's just like well i can't really be bothered getting dressed up it's only i'm that's, i'm just stood behind the cd player so why should i bother that kind of thing when it comes to singers and you know that well um yeah stop stop with your bad habits uh, i guess i guess with some singers um you know, the, the the bad habits can be that they will come up with like a new style of, not a new style of singing, but a new style of doing a new song. And they won't do it in front of people, you know, who know them at first and say, does this sound good? Um, but they just go ahead and stage and do it. And because, you know, a couple of people clapped at the end of that song, well, they're going to do it again in another gig. And it's not necessarily a good option for you there. Um <coughs> But yeah, so just constantly ask for feedback. You know, I know that this is a, a, a theme that we seem to go through on all of the videos on this, but genuinely do keep asking for feedback because it's the only way that you're going to be able to constantly improve yourself. Now, um, as far as other bad habits go, you know, I, I, I could go through a list rattling them off. But you know just be constantly looking at yourself and thinking can i improve that is that wrong is that not working what is it that i need to do to improve that kind of thing so yeah okay so uh ask mbd comes around again we've got to answer some questions uh don't forget if you want to do get if you want to get your questions in then do feel free to contact us at any time we'll always do your best to get your questions into some of these videos and everything will be great uh when on stage what is the best way to help with being nervous um <laughs> being worried um <coughs> i guess that you mean to combat being nervous um there is a really good technique um which some of you may well want to try now and it's basically you do it with one hand your left or your right whatever one i tend to go with my left because i can't concentrate as well as i can with my right um but if you get too good at doing this with one hand change it to the other and you're back to square one you have to relearn it and it's basically to go with your thumb and you go one two three four and then you miss out that finger and then you go one two three miss out that finger two three and then you miss out that one so you're doing that and you just keep doing that and you, you it, it gives you something mentally to concentrate on so 
that will then you know kind of make your brain think well no concentrate on this and you're not worrying about that that works for me there is loads of other techniques that um other people use and it works for them you know there are some people who genuinely can't get over stage fright no matter what they try uh, a really unfortunate thing you know there was a really good singer uh when i was growing up in the 90s I can't remember what what her name was she came out with some really good songs, but that was in a recording studio. Uh, she went out onto a stage once uh, and couldn't sing. She walked off stage, was never seen on stage again, and she stopped singing because she, suff- she suffered with stage fright that much. And I think to this day, she still actually tries to overcome the stage fright, but genuinely can't. So it's, you know, people... Like I said, there is loads of techniques, but some people just genuinely suffer with stage fright, and that's that's unfortunately the harsh reality of working in the industry. Your best friend for finding out what is going to work best for you, though, is going to be Google. Go and Google stage fright. You know, uh, hints and tips for getting over stage fright. It'll come up with loads of things for you to try, and try them. You know, because you never know what is actually going to work for you. Um, and you know if you find a technique and it doesn't work for you try something else because that could well work um <clears throat> if i'm unhappy with what a dj or an entertainer is doing what can i do um this probably wasn't sent in by one of my customers um basically uh try talking to the dj or entertainer um at the gig you know um say what you would like the other thing with that is is to pre-plan your events don't just turn up and expect your entertainer to have the perfect event for you talk with them first and set your standards and say you know what this you know okay this is what i'm paying you and this is what i expect from you and if you can't do that i'm going to get someone else to do it so you know kind of be prompt with what you're saying or upfront with what you're saying um Can can I or should I be able to get my money back f- uh, off a DJ if I'm unhappy with them? Uh, there is no like regulation of the entertainment industry as such. Um, so it is down to the DJ or entertainer or band, whatever, for you to come to some sort of arrangement about that. Um, the only thing that I can say is that, you know, if you are unhappy with them, obviously talk to them about it. But before you book them in the first place go and ask ask if you can go to one of their gigs for five minutes you know go and sit in the room how do they react to the crowd and you know how would they fit in with your party and that sort of thing talk with them loads first um so there you go uh i love this blog thank you for making it and keep going with it thanks i love comments like that um i actually think that that is genuinely the only comment like that that i've ever received from doing these um right as a dj how am i to know what is the best sort of music to play for an event <clears throat> like i said earlier on um talking with the people before the event takes place um carry with you a wide variety of music you know cater for basically as many age ranges as you can and you should find that you would be all right with it Pardon me, uh, if you cater for one sort and another sort of crowd turn up, well, it's not going to go great. So, uh, just be as prepared as you can. Um, Maybe some forward thinking and planning might come into handy for that. But, yeah, um, that's basically it. That's it for Ask MBD. I can mark that off my list now. And that is done. Um, right, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for what is going to be one, two, three, fourth video. My God. <laughs>